Hi everybody, I'm Drake Pledger, this is Flintlock Operator, and welcome to Kentucky. So there's two different things I'd like to be able to cover with you guys today. First is uh, channel updates and where we're going to be headed, as well as I'd like to give you a little bit of insight into where we are exactly in Kentucky and give you guys a little bit of a background so you guys can appreciate and experience as much of this as I am. Again, you guys, thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for watching. Now, what updates do we have for the channel? First of all, I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to put out as much content recently. I've had a really, really busy and crazy past few months and trying to get out and film in North Texas when it's 110 degrees outside and layers of linen, wool, and leather. And when your camera overheats, well, uh, it kind of makes for a difficult combination to try and film. But you know what? We're out here. We're out here in Kentucky. We're going to be out here for about five days. And every single one of those days is going to be dedicated to filming. Now, I've got a bunch of video ideas, and I'm not sure how many of them we'll be able to get through. But rest assured, there's a lot of really good, fun, cool content coming your way. So our next channel update, we passed 1,000 subscribers just last week. I think it was last week. Uh, the last time I checked, we had over 1,130 subscribers. I want to thank every single one of you who's watching for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you so much for, for your support. Uh, I started out this journey about a year ago. I didn't post anything a year ago, but I started to film some, some initial content about a year ago. And uh, the reception that I've had, the, the positive comments that I've had, have been so encouraging and I have all of y'all to thank. Thank you so much for your support. And obviously I can't forget uh, all the followers on Instagram. We're getting pretty close to a thousand. I think here within the week, we're gonna pass a thousand followers. Thank you so much for everybody who follows me on Instagram. You know, there's a lot more content on there. Uh, Instagram is just an easier platform to post more content. And after, after this week, my goodness, there's gonna be a lot of really cool content on there as well as YouTube. So while I'm thinking about it, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to this channel, to Flintlock Operator, and go ahead and give us a follow on Instagram. But we're not done yet. I've got some cool history to share with y'all. Now getting up all, getting up and down all these steep ravines and gullies is pretty fun in moccasins. Here we are on the highest point of my friend's property. Now off here, off to the north, you can see the, roll, the beautiful rolling hills of central Kentucky. And my goodness, it, is it a spectacular view. I'm seeing a lot of uh, dark oranges, maroon reds, and still a little bit of green. Hopefully over this week that we're here, the leaves will really, really start changing and all the yellows, reds, and oranges will be in full, uh, full force by the end of the week. Now I'm not going to tell you the exact location of the property here, but I can tell you it is just south of Stanford, Kentucky, which is where Logan Station is. And about three quarters to, of a mile to a mile that way, there runs a highway, a highway which was built on top of the old wilderness trace. Now that's not the trace that Boone, him, Boone and his company cleared uh, to, from, the, from Cumberland Gap up to Boonesboro, but it is 
the, it is the trace that runs to Logan Station and then up to Harrodsburg. So this is the exact area where people would have been coming through. There's a passage in Daniel Tribune's book about camp, having a campsite on the Dix River, which is just that way, just a couple miles, and it was near a crab orchard. Well, one of the towns that we're really close to is Crab Orchard. So, I mean, these guys were right here, and my goodness, how cool is it to just be in the middle of everything? So like I mentioned, Logan's station is about 20 miles away and Harrodsburg is about a 35 minute drive. Uh, Danville is about a 30 minute drive and Boonesboro's only 45 minutes away. So we really are in the cin center of everything. And as we, as you make the drive up to this property and you just pass so many, so many familiar names from Kentucky history. So, I'm just so excited to get to be out here and be in these wonderful, beautiful woods and have the opportunity to share my passion for the 18th century with all of you. Everyone, thank you so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the Flintlock Operator YouTube channel and also follow the Flintlock Operator Instagram page. Everyone, thank you so much. You guys have a great day and we'll see you very soon on Down the Trail in the next video.